the Texas Gulf Coast are underwater tonight as Tropical Storm Francis lashes the area with heavy rain and wind. Hello, I'm Sharon Rizalton. Welcome to this edition of Weather Center. We're tracking Francis from the Forecast Center, and Jeff Morrow has an update. All right, Sharon, indeed we do, and uh, Francis is really lashing the Texas and Louisiana Gulf Coastal areas with a lot of wind and a lot of rain, and we are getting reports of some very, very serious tidal flooding going on, uh, particularly on the south end of Galveston Island, uh, out from where the seawall is at uh, a place called Jamaica Beach. Evidently, there has been tremendous flooding and some significant damage as well. A lot of cars, some homes underwater, and the dune line evidently is severely damaged or completely gone in that area. Other areas are being evacuated. A very serious situation. Let's go ahead and talk about the latest, and we actually have the very latest as of the 8 p.m. advisory. That's going to be different from what you see on your screen there, but we'll update it for you here so you can see the change. 25, or excuse me, 27.5 north is the new coordinate, 95.6 west. We're about 115 miles east of Corpus Christi, drifting to the northwest. 60 miles an hour, the maximum sustained winds stay the same, and the pressure has dropped another millibar down to 994 millibars. There are tropical storm warnings still out from Pearl River all the way down to Tampico, Mexico. That includes the entire Louisiana coast, as well as the Texas coastal bend as well. So again, this is a very broad area, but tropical storm force winds are in a very broad zone around this storm. Let's show you some other scenes here of what was going on near Padre Island. Uh, the JFK Causeway was reduced to one lane today. It's the major thoroughfare between the island and the mainland. Uh, beach waters breached the sand dunes on Mustang and Padre Islands, and as I just mentioned, farther north on up toward a place called Jamaica Beach and out on Galveston Island, some serious flooding there as well. Joining me now here in the Forecast Center is our hurricane expert, John Hope. And John, even though we're talking tropical storm here, we've got some serious flooding going we on. We do have tidal flooding. That's going to be the main hazard from this, and it already is some very serious flooding, as you indicated. Uh, tides are going to be five to seven feet above normal there, and uh, big waves on top of that. So the coast is taking quite a battering. All right, and here's a look at uh, where some of the high tides are. And again, we are coming up to that right now, John. It looks like uh, maybe the worst of it here for the time being in the next hour or the two. The next, next couple hours, most of the uh, about 8.30 local time or thereabouts is when the high tide will be. Fortunately, in the western Gulf, the tidal range is not so great. It doesn't make quite so much difference, but we're still talking about a foot or a foot and a half mm -hmm. uh, difference there, and that can mean a whole lot when you've already got the flooding that you do have up to this point. All right, well, let's go ahead and show the folks what we're talking about as far as the satellite perspective. And John, looking perhaps a bit more organized than what we were talking about last night. Well, it is more organized than it was last Last night, we still don't think the uh, surface center is entirely under this big red area up here, which is really flared up. That's uh, headed now up toward, or, well, it's moving right over the coast of Texas there uh, from uh, Galveston Bay on up to High Island. Extremely heavy rains there and gusty winds, too. And we can see on the, uh, on the radar and the satellite composite here, right about in here, Jeff, is where that center is. And it's showed a pretty definite movement tonight, I think, uh, toward the uh, toward the northwest. It looks as if that's going to continue. And if it does, as we believe it will, that's going to bring the center ashore by tomorrow morning. And we're glad to be able to say that, not because we want anybody to hit there, but because once it gets inland, we know the storm will not get any stronger. So probably sometime during the morning hours tomorrow? Sometime during the morning hours, it does appear. This has been so erratic. Uh, that may be going out on a limb a little bit, but it does look as if that's where it's headed. Now, it's still over open water. It's going to be over, over open water tonight. Still could get somewhat stronger. All right, and that uh, may perhaps a little ominous. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radars here and see uh, what we've got. Again, John, uh, the center probably somewhere out in this vicinity. Yeah, we're not really picking the center up on any of these radars we're showing here. It's down a bit south of there. But uh, having said that, most of the heavy rain and the heavy squalls continue to be north of where the center is, and that's going to be the case right on up until landfall, I do believe. It looks like a lot of these areas, southern Louisiana and along the uh, Texas, upper Texas coast here, are really getting lashed with not only the rain, but of course that tidal flooding, so it's kind and, of a double And we, we would really urge people not to be too concerned about where this center is. Actually, where the center of this comes ashore is not going to be anywhere near as bad as it is up here to the north. 
All right, and finally, I wanted to show a radar, or I wanted to show some of those rainfall tallies, uh, at least five inches. These are some of the major reporting stations, but uh, Doppler radar estimates even higher than that. Yes, we, uh, no, no doubt, quite a bit higher than that uh, inland. I think seven, eight inches, something like that in some areas. And more on the way. And last but not least, we want to show you a radar. It's not only Texas, it's also Louisiana. Louisiana, they've been getting heavy rains in the New Orleans area and southeast of there all evening, and lots more heavy rain on the way, it appears. Not going to get out of there right away. All right, a slow-moving tropical storm, but a very dangerous one. Thanks, John Hope, giving us the latest, and uh, we'll have that update for you graphically, the uh, update from the Hurricane Center, and we'll be getting new advisories or new reports from the Hurricane Hunters. So remember, if you want to keep updated on Tropical Storm Francis, keep it here tuned to the Weather Channel, but if you are away from your television, you can always get the latest on our online service at weather.com. Right now, let's go back to Sharon Result, and in the studio, she has a look at some of the rest of the nation's weather. Okay, thanks a lot, Jeff and John. And we continue to watch things down here. Not only are we finding heavy rain and potential for flooding, but also into Brazoria County, we also have a tornado warning in effect. And oftentimes, as we see a tropical system and those strong bands of thunderstorms moving up. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Stormwatch, sponsored by Home Depot. Once again, we are dealing with a tropical system threatening the United States. This time, Tropical Storm Francis will be uh, giving you complete coverage of what's happening with uh, Tropical Storm Francis and also taking a peek at what's happening around the rest of the nation. But we started off with our tropical update and take you right in to the details on our latest tropical storm. Latest advisory out of the National Hurricane Center as of 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time uh, puts the center of uh, Francis about 115 miles east of Corpus Christi, Texas. Top winds at about 60 miles an hour, and those are reported to the northeast of the center out over the ocean. And it is drifting northwestward. Central pressure at uh, estimated at 994 millibars. A wide swath of the Gulf Coast now under tropical storm warnings from the Pearl River in Mississippi across uh, the coast of Louisiana and all the way the entire Texas Gulf Coast under tropical storm warnings right now and those warnings reach down to Tampico, Mexico. A very broad storm, a poorly defined center and uh, however we are seeing quite a lot of activity with it some very heavy rain and also some very gusty winds along the texas coast you can see a huge blow up of convection here actually just to the north of the uh, the, the center of the storm however again that center very ill-defined uh, it's a very broad area of almost equal low pressure very hard to pinpoint where the actual center of circulation is but certainly uh, it is very easy to see where the rain is coming down quite Hard, reporting heavy rain places like Houston and Galveston, winds gusting up to close to 40 miles an hour over the last hour. Victoria, Texas reporting wind gusts to 40 miles an hour. And you can see a lot of rain spinning on shore here along the coast of Texas, and we will be uh, get, bringing you live reports from the coast coming up over the next several hours as part of our weather center. So we invite you to stay tuned here at the top of the hour, and we'll let you know uh, in more detail right from the scene wh what things are like. Farther to the east, it isn't any picnic either. In fact, we're seeing some very strong winds gusting over 30 miles an hour in around the New Orleans area right now with some heavy rain and all of this spinning on shore, so a very wet night of it also across southern Louisiana and some light rain extending even as far east as Gulfport and Biloxi, Mississippi. Let us, uh, we'll be covering much more on what's going on with uh, Tropical Storm Francis coming up in about seven minutes, but we wanted to devote a little time here to what's happening in other areas of the tropics to see if there's anything else we need to worry about. Nothing in the Caribbean, fortunately. We do have a tropical wave moving through, but not a lot of convection with it, and uh, we're not expecting any formation of tropical systems out of this area over the next 24 hours. Likewise, as we push a little farther uh, eastward here into the western Atlantic, not much here east of the Leeward and Windward Islands, so uh, not too much to worry about here, so that is some good news. And then coming off the coast of Africa, we do have a fairly large cloud swirl here uh, to the west of the Cape Verde Islands, but 
fortunately no convection with it right now so uh, until it starts developing any sort of convection uh, we won't have to worry about it too much and then of course we have the usual areas of convection here uh, coming off the shores of Africa and out into the intertropical convergence zone. We skip now to the shores of western Mexico where we still have tropical depression Javier with uh, top winds of about 30 miles an hour drifting southeast at 3 miles an hour and uh, central pressure estimated about a thousand millibars. Not a very powerful system at all and it, uh, aside from causing some problems perhaps for boats in and along the Mexican coastline, uh, right now not really sh causing too much of any problems at all. So that is certainly some good news. Let us uh, devote a little time now to what is happening in the rest of the United States. And fortunately things much quieter than they are here tonight along uh, the coasts of Louisiana and Texas. High pressure dominating the picture from the Midwest over to the eastern seaboard. Uh, however, we do have the chance of some stronger thunderstorms in the western U.S. and in the high plains of the uh, Dakotas and eastern Montana. But uh, our main threat, isolated tornadoes. Anytime we have a tropical system coming on shore, there is the threat of tornadoes. And so please be on the lookout in southern Louisiana and into eastern Texas. We head into the western U.S. where we do have a few showers and we have seen some of the thunderstorms in the area uh, on the uh, feisty side, so to speak. We have seen a few severe thunderstorm warnings out, but nothing active right now. A little farther to the north, we're seeing some showers and thunderstorms working their way towards Salt Lake City. So you might see a little bit of rain here and also into big sky country, some rain falling at the present hour. Our main focus tonight, though, is Tropical Storm Francis. We'll have a complete update next on Weather Center. Squalls make way for Tropical Storm Francis on the Gulf Coast. How long will wind and rains continue? The answer is coming up on Weather Center. This program was sponsored by The Home Depot. We have the how-to clinics uh, where we show the customer how to do the project themselves. After doing it for the first time, they feel a lot more comfortable with it. They get involved, they get pumped, they take notes, they come to... The Gulf Coast is experiencing a number of problems tonight. Power lines are down, roads are closed, and many areas are flooded thanks to Tropical Storm Francis. Good evening and welcome to Weather Center. I'm Warren Madden. We'll be taking a look at the nation's weather and the forecast in just a couple of minutes. But first, let's get a complete update on Tropical Storm Francis from Jeff Morrow in the Forecast Center. Warren, the six-name tropical system in the Atlantic, Francis, has been very slow to organize, slow to strengthen. But because it has been slow to move, all the winds and rains have been lashing the same areas for a long time, and that's why we're having a lot of the problems that we're having, particularly along some of the coastal areas. Let's give you the very latest from the Hurricane Center. This is the brand new advisory as of the 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time advisory. 27.6 north, 95.9 west, about 70 miles south-southeast of Port O'Connor, Texas. Winds at 65 miles an hour. That is up slightly drifting to the northwest and the pressure at 994 millibars. There are tropical storm warnings up all the way from Tampico, Mexico to Pearl River in Mississippi. That does include the entire Louisiana and Texas Gulf coastal areas. Now let's take you to Louisiana where tropical storm Francis has been drenching many parts of that state. Sandbagging efforts are in the works. Some homes in Terrebonne Parish have been threatened and are being threatened by floodwaters and roadways are covered with water as they are in many areas areas in southern Louisiana and southeast Texas and travel is absolutely treacherous. Well joining us now live on location in Galveston, Texas is our own Mike Seidel and Mike uh, it's been a long time getting there but uh, conditions pretty nasty I would imagine. Uh, yes Jeff we uh, finally made it down here to Galveston I want to explain we're using our special uh, night vision camera so there's not a problem with the color in your set. This is what we used in Desert Storm and we used for Hurricane Bonnie uh, just a couple weeks ago. It uh, enables us to see things when we don't have enough natural lighting. And we're here on the coast, the Gulf of Mexico at the Galveston Seawall. It was a tough trip getting in here. Uh, a lot of the secondary roads are closed, including Highway 6 going uh, towards Galveston. On the way over here, Jeff, about the only thing that wasn't underwater was I-45. Granted, it's dark. But we could see where the farmlands and trailer parks and just about everything was covered. So at first light in the morning, it's going to be uh, one, uh, probably one uh, gruesome uh, uh, sight to see how much of uh, this part of Texas is just buried in this heavy rainfall. One thing we've seen, Jeff, is the rain has backed off a little bit, as you'll probably show us on the radar. But the winds are still gusting as high as 50 miles an hour, and that has pushed the water up to the seawall, and we've seen waves crashing over. 
So good news right now is the rain has backed off here, at least in this part of Galveston. Jeff? All right, Mike. Well, you uh, hang tight there in uh, Galveston, and uh, we'll be back with you in about a half an hour. Okay. Uh, looks like you might have some other big squalls coming in, so definitely batten it down. All right. That was Mike Seidel reporting live from Galveston, Texas. Joining me now here in the Forecast Center is Meteorology Supervisor Stu Ostro. And again, slow movement has led to problems that have uh, will probably persist through the overnight hours. Slow movement in combination during the last couple of days with that big, cool, high-pressure system over the eastern United States. That pressure gradient between the tropical storm and the high really whipped up the Gulf. And that in combination with the slow movement has caused the above normal tides. And now we have extremely heavy rains, which are adding to the problem. All right. Well, let's go ahead and show the folks what we're looking at as far as the satellite perspective is concerned. And Stu, a big, huge, what we would call a ball of convection here or thunderstorms. Uh, but it looks like the center is actually south of that, right? It is. Uh, folks may wonder why we like to put the color on, on these satellite photos, the infrared satellite photos. And this is a good, a good example why. The uh, brighter yellows and oranges and reds show that the clouds are higher up in the atmosphere. And this really stands out here. These were the uh, ferocious squalls, which developed a little bit earlier, came inland. The center of circulation that you mentioned is still a little bit offshore right in here. But again, we have these squalls which have come on shore. We have squalls even out uh, close to the New Orleans area. And now we see a few more uh, blowing up here offshore, which will likely come into the Texas coast during the night. All right, and here's a regional radar. Again, New Orleans being located about right over in here. Uh, right over here, this is the Houston area, and then Galveston down along the coast where Mike is. But several bands of thunderstorms coming in. Let's go to a couple of Dopplers here, and uh, you can talk a little bit about what we're looking at. Well, we can see the uh, still fairly broad center of circulation pretty much down in here. We see the uh, radar echoes rotating in around it. And we were talking about in the satellite photo the heavy squalls which came in earlier. What's left of them is in here now, and unfortunately we still see extremely heavy rains underneath these yellows and oranges. And the other thing which uh, has us a bit dismayed is that there's more squalls developing out here, which not only will have the wind with them, but will be uh, headed inland as well. And Galveston Island just about in there where Mike is, so it looks like Galveston is going to get some more during the course of the night. Maybe see that in the next half hour. And our last radar shows us uh, the New Orleans area. New Orleans located about right in there south of Lake Pontchartrain. Some heavy rain headed in that way too. Right. This is Louisiana in here. Here's the coast. We have the heavy rain, some gusty winds, and the potential for tornadoes in some of these individual cells as they head in from the Gulf. Yeah, that's something we haven't talked a lot about. We have had some tornado warnings out already this evening. And even a report of uh, damage a little earlier. All right. So that's definitely something in addition to all the heavy flooding rains and the on midnight Eastern Daylight Time, 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and it is time now for Storm Watch. And we are closely following the progress of Tropical Storm Francis in the Gulf of Mexico. And during this segment, we will be looking not only at Francis, but also at the rest of the tropics to let you know what is going on, if there are any other threats to the U.S. And also we'll take a look at what is happening here in the United States to find out uh, where the thunderstorms are rumbling across parts of the western United States. Uh, let's start off, though, with our tropical update and uh, dive right into what is happening with Tropical Storm Francis. This is the latest advisory out of the National Hurricane Center. As of 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, the center of Francis uh, placed by the Hurricane Center about 70 miles south-southeast of Port O'Connor, Texas. Top winds up a bit from the previous advisory. Now it's 65 miles an hour, so we're only about 10 miles, a little less than 10 miles uh, in top wind speed away from a hurricane status. But right now, it appears that uh, Tropical Storm Francis is running out of time in which to strengthen before the center of circulation comes on shore. And that should pretty much uh, put an end to any potential for strengthening, because once you take away the warm sea surface 
waters from the center of the storm, you're basically taking the gas, the fuel away from the engine of the storm, and it can do nothing but deteriorate from there. It is drifting to the northwest. Central pressure has dropped several millibars as of the last fix by the Air Force Reserve uh, Hurricane Hunter aircraft, now down to 991 millibars. Tropical storm warnings from Pearl River all the way down to Tampico, Mexico. So a huge swath of territory here covered by these tropical storm warnings. That means that you could see tropical storm conditions, winds greater than 39 miles an hour over the, during the next 24 hour period. Here's a look at the system. You can see several large areas of convection here, the brighter cloud tops, the, the, the oranges, the reds showing the higher cloud tops, and we're seeing more convection starting to blow up here just off the coast of Texas. Let's go right into the radars here and we can show you what is uh, happening here. And we'll be also covering this in greater detail coming up here on uh, Weather Center at the top of the hour as we take you out to our forecast center where Dave Schwartz is tracking the system. You can see those showers and thunderstorms spinning on shore here around Galveston. Uh, our own Mike Seidel is in Galveston. We'll have a live report coming up for you in just a couple of minutes and let you know what's going on. But a very, very uh, unsettled night, very stormy night here across the coast of uh, central and uh, eastern Texas and over into Louisiana as well. We are seeing showers and thunderstorms coming ashore from uh, pretty much up and down the, the uh, Louisiana shoreline. New Orleans, you've had a rough night of it as well with some heavy rain and gusty winds. We'll be telling you more about Tropical Storm Francis in about seven minutes. But now let us uh, take a brief set of time here to fill you in on what's going on in the rest of the tropics. Fortunately, not much. Not much in the Caribbean. You notice the clouds starting to dissipate. We do have some thunderstorms coming off of Hispaniola but nothing that is getting organized. Likewise, as we head out into the uh, Atlantic here to the east of the Leeward and Windward Islands, not much, you don't see much out here. So no convection, no development, good news. Off the coast of Africa, we do have a swirl, a, a cyclonic swirl here to the east or rather to the west of the Cape Verde Islands. However, without any convection associated with it, won't develop, at least not anytime soon. So that's some good news. We leave for the Atlantic now, we head to the Pacific where we're still talking about Tropical Depression Javier. Winds about 30 miles an hour as of 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Nearly stationary. Centered 170 miles south of Cabo San Lucas. Central pressure at 1,000 millibars and a fairly weak system. Not much going on with it right now. In fact, very little in the way of convection. Very hard even to pick out the circulation here since it's experiencing quite a lot of shear from the southeast over to the northwest. Let's leave the tropics now. I told you we'd come back into the United States and fill you in on what's happening here. Uh, well, we do have some showers and storms going on across the western United States. Some of them could be on the strong side, and we should mention that in the area under the gun for Tropical Storm Francis, please be on the lookout for isolated tornadoes. Unlike tornadoes that are usually associated with uh, springtime conditions, these usually come out of the east so they won't come from the direction that you're typically used to. So please be on the lookout. Not much happening here into the southwest right now. Thunderstorms appear to be dying down. However, we move farther north, we're seeing some rain in western Colorado. And even farther to the north, some uh, rain and thunderstorms moving here into uh, western Dakotas. Watch out. Some of these storms have a history of producing some gusty winds and even some heavy rains and small hail. Coming up next is Weather Center. We'll bring you the latest details on Tropical Storm Francis. Please stay with us with the Weather Channel. Tropical Storm Francis continues to rain down on the Gulf. When will skies clear? The most up-to-date information is ahead on Weather Center after your local forecast. It defies every stereotype.